Howdy folks, EJ here, and today I've got a pretty cool little command block creation to show you all that will allow you to get armor stands with arms in Vanilla Survival. So if we take a quick look inside this nice little spawn building that I've got started, we can see exactly what is needed to make this command block contraption work. First off, we've got an armor stand. Armor stands, when you place them down by default, do not have arms. This means that you can place armor on them and stuff, but you don't get the added functionality of being able to put things in their hands and uh, use them for other cool decorational purposes and uh, being able to hold items. My friend suggested that we add arms to all armor stands in the our survival world so that we could use the added functionality, but there were also some friends of mine that did not want the arms on the armor stands, so I had to come up with a little contraption that would allow them some armor stands to have arms and others to not, and make it very easy to use and optional in survival. So here's the command block contraption that I've come up with. Believe it or not, it actually consists of just a couple set of command blocks, and then the entire mechanism consists of only two command blocks, or four if you want it to be a little bit more fancy. So it is very compact, very easy to use, and it should be pretty straightforward. So let's take a look at the commands. First off, before we run any commands though, we will probably want to run the game rule. Game rule, command block output, false. This will stop all command blocks from spamming our chat with lots and lots of successes and failures. So the first command we have here is scoreboard objectives add arms dummy. And of course the scoreboard objective can be whatever you want, for example, pi, but uh, it would be easier just to do something that explains what it is. So arms it is. This will be a scoreboard objective that we are going to use in the rest of our commands. So make sure you run this command first before you set up the rest of the commands, otherwise this mechanism won't work. So now we've got our scoreboard objective set up, and we don't need these anymore. Now let's take a look at what else we have. These two are also pretty straightforward. Basically all they do is they set up a fill clock. So let's put this one on the bottom, and then this one on the top, hold shift to place it on top of another command block, and then when we activate it, we should get a fill clock. This is running 20 times per second, and it constantly runs any commands that we put onto it from here on out. So let's go ahead and add the rest of the mechanism. Let's take these two command blocks, because these are pretty much the entire concept. Now we place that one down and place that one down. Let's try to explain what's happening here. The first command basically sets the scoreboard objective that we defined before, arms, it will set that to 1 for any item that is of this type with this data. And uh, the type that I'm specifying is an item ID Minecraft stick. That means it's only going to work with stick items and if they have a count of 2. So basically anytime there is an item on the ground that has uh, the data of 2 sticks stacked together on the ground like this, this uh, now has a scoreboard objective of arms and it's got a score of 1. So this is just to mark the item so we can know that this is the one we want to actually use. So the second command here will execute at any item with a score of arms minimum of 1. So this means any item that has an arm score of 1, which is only ever going to be an item with ID stick and count 2, execute at that stick. If there's an armor stand within one block, then go ahead and give it arms. So, now you should be able to see that if I place down an armor stand and throw two sticks at it, then boom, the armor stand has arms. Ta-da! Of course, as you can see, it doesn't actually consume the sticks, it just kind of leaves them there at this point. So, I can go ahead and pick them up and place down another armor stand and keep using the same sticks over and over again. Which is not something I really like. So, I went ahead and added a little bit more realism so that it would actually cost you something in survival. So, let's place down these other two command blocks, and now we should see when we place down an armor stand, that if we throw two sticks at it, the sticks are actually consumed and you can't get them back anymore. This way, it's like you're actually using the sticks as the armor stand's arms and you can't use them again. It's like actually costing you something in Vanilla Survival. Basically how I did this is I'm adding one to the arms score of any armor stand that actually has arms, and then at any armor stand that has an arms score of min one, I'm executing at that armor stand to kill any item that has an arms score. This way, any armor stand that already has arms will kill items with count two and ID stick. So because of this method, unfortunately you'll be able to throw two more sticks at it and they'll still get deleted, but that's no big deal. Another thing to note is that these guys do not keep their data, so if you go ahead and punch them out and then place them back down again, he will uh, be reset to his original data values and he won't have arms anymore. So this is an easy way to reset and uh, spawn them in again however much you like. And that's it, just a very simple mechanism to give armor stands arms in Vanilla Survival. So you can easily utilize multiple functionalities of the armor stands. A couple of things for the more technical players to note though are, these commands don't actually need to be run in any specific order, they work on any orientation, so I can put all these command blocks on the same row and they'll still work the exact same way. Also, it doesn't need to be on a fill clock, so you can put it on a slower clock if you want it to be, to reduce lag. 
Third thing to note is that if you have a lot of armor stands that have arms in your world, it could cause a bit of scoreboard lag because of all the armor stands that have an arm score of 1. So if you're going to have a lot of armor stands with arms, then you might want to reset some scores and change the mechanism slightly so that you don't get scoreboard lag on your world. But yeah, this is a very simple mechanism, very compact and easy to use, and in my opinion, it is super, super cool. Feel free to use this concept if you want. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, if you did like this video, then go ahead and spread it around, like it, whatever you want to do. But that is all I have for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.